What? <laughs> hey, hey, there hey, she is. hey. No, 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 here. Are you happy? Yeah, actually, I am. Good. Good. You really want me to believe that you put your foot in your mouth deliberately? Please. Go get the girl. It's your move. No. That's where you go. Sean, over. I told you, I do not need you to lay back for me to get a girl. Get over there. No. Show her the abs. Show her the abs. Not until you challenge me straight up. Fine. I will be kissing ah. Trish. Ten minutes. Not if I get there first. Dude, what are you doing? Cleaning up. But why? This place is a mess. And it's not all the time that we have an attractive conservationist come by the office. Oh, and by the way, I'll call her. What do you mean you call her? I can't call a person. Why not? Because I already called her at the funeral. You did not. She touched me, Gus. That's because you bumped into her. Doesn't matter. Contact? It's contact. It's the rule, buddy. You know what? Get ready for battle. <laughs> Get ready for battle? Come on. Yep. This is ridiculous. We can't go to battle over a girl we don't know. I'll back off. You'll back off? Why? Because this is silly. Look, you do your thing, you work it, and I'll stay out of the way. You think I can't get a girl on my own? Fine. I'll back off. I already backed off. Too bad. Backed off when? Well, I was in charge of Shabby's rehabilitation, and a lot of unexplained things happen. First of all, they moved up the date of his release by six days. And why did they do that? Well, um, Randy LaBeta. Randy LaBeta? From the funeral? And, and Pacific Ocean Aqua Patrol, yeah. I used to watch that show after wrestling practice in high school. I was the captain. <laughs> yeah, um, the aquarium did a personal appearance deal with him a couple months ago. Put him on the ads, built a Randy LaBeta Manor A tank. What? And someone wanted him to be the one to release Shabby. And you didn't want that to happen? Well, no. It was too soon. Of course. LaBeta shanghaied the whole thing. It was supposed to be a quiet release with a local photographer. I got to the dock, the photographer had been canceled, and I wasn't even allowed on the boat. No aquarium staff whatsoever. I never got to see him again. So awful. <clears throat> so, uh, what happened out on the boat? Well, no one knows. Everyone got back late. Working a case without me. So it's off? Yes. Yeah, I guess the pressure of picking the right bachelor is just causing me a lot of stress. Believe me, I get it. Is it possible that there's someone else? Someone you're involved with in the nighttime? So much. Yeah, I got in here. This is a taco burrito conversation, not shows. <laughs> Excuse me, Sean. This is so dumb. Buck says you can't make this shot. Yeah, so I can't take your money. That's right, because you can't make the shot. I can easily make the shot, which is why I can't take your money. There's no sport in it. I see all mouth. I'm all mouth? Yep. All right. Sail straight, my precious. <clears throat> okay. Double nothing. Trivia question this time. History. Grover Cleveland. Hey! How do you do that? It's the sweetness. That didn't come from the battlefield. It came from the south. I saw the crime. No, I did. I said it first. I identified the uniform. I found the button near the tree. I said it first. Tap, tap, no take backs. That's not fair, Sean. I was identifying a C4 sound. Dude, you snooze, you lose, Gus. I don't know what to tell you. That manhole we found. I know what you're trying to do, Sean. And it's not going to work. I'm not buying. It's on now. Oh, 
Three. One. Two. Let go of my chair, Sean. The, the wheels, they're stuck together. Get off, Sean. Yeah. Listen, you two. Did you see who won? I beat him, didn't I? No, no, no. Two out of three. Ah, that means I beat him, right? Unlike everyone else around here, I'm... Sean Spencer thrives on clutch moments like this. It's just him, the ball, and the hole, surrounded by silence. And a man wearing a hefty bag on angel dust. Come on, dude, I was in the zone. Now I have to start all over. Sean, the floor is flat. I don't know why you can't just put in our office. Because, Gus, anyone can hit a ball into an empty cup. The true challenge is to guide the ball almost magically through the organized chaos of human bustle and into the hole as if no one were there. Let's just hope it works better than when you attempted the same thing with the darts. Pardon me, I nailed that. 30 foot bullseye. No, you hit a guy's eye. Jules, listen. I can feel in my heart that you can get into the groove. Now, we need to step it up, literally. And we need to stomp the yard figuratively. We've advanced to round two. This is an elite class of performer. Sean, 97 teams have advanced to round two. We're out of time. You're all we've got. Everything's riding on this. Step up to the plate. 72 minutes. Not until midnight, Sean. I am Cinderella, and this is my ball. And I'm not lifting a finger until my carriage turns into a big-ass pumpkin. Got it? Got it. Good. <laughs> Stage was deliberately severed. The chief thinks it was done pro. But that means. Whoa! Six five. Once upon a time, they were good cops. I have a gift, Gus, and you have me. Besides, we're both young, viral. It's virile, Sean. Point is, it's a couple of old tortoises versus two young swift hares. The tortoise won the race. Only because he was tired. That makes no sense, Sean. I think we should relax, take a load off, have some of my dad's yam frites, talk about why Misak Taylor came back for Mannequin 2. I'll race you for it. What? <laughs> no. That's right. And I know why. Why? Because I beat you in the 100-yard dash in the Junior High Olympics. Please. First of all, you know I had shin splints, a torn meniscus, and a planter's wart. Gus, you copied those terms from the glossary of our health textbook. You have no idea what they mean. Ask my doctor. I had a ruptured patella, too, but I wasn't going to say anything. Besides, go. Oh, no. No, you didn't. Had me. What? I had you by at least a foot. I'm gonna give this to you. I thought so. Not because you won. Because you need a victory in your life more than I do right now. What? Oh no. We're going again. I got a better idea. All right. 
Let's get to work. Seriously? This will be good. It will? Work is good, Gus. Work is glorious. It's the breath of life. What is this? It's a drill. Of course it is. Don't be ridiculous. You're still upset that Lindsay showed you up at the crime scene, aren't you? What is her trick? <laughs> Maybe she's just more psychic-y than you. You guys don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as psychics. I don't know, Sean. Even I have been getting a little bit of intuition lately. In fact, I'm getting something right now. Something very strong. She's, she's <laughs> better than you. You know, they say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but that hurts. It hurts below the belt. You're not afraid of the competition, are you, Sean? Of course not. As long as it doesn't involve people trying to best each other. Well, I'm up for it. Matter of fact, I've already won.